is. Let's find out how. It all starts with the camera, it doesn't matter what camera, and next an adhesive, in this case we're going to be using Velcro. Next find your microphone holes, in the RX100's case there are two at the top, don't cover them with the Velcro or get glue in them because your audio will be muffled and ruined. Now you need something to stop the wind, maybe it's time for your husky to get a haircut, or you can just hop into the dollar store and get yourself a paint roller, or just cut up a stuffed animal. In my case I'm going to use an anteater, I got a goodwill. <laughs> This tail on this anteater is great, it's extra furry, it'll be great for my windscreen. Line up your Velcro with the microphone hole, measure between the pop-up flash and the EVF, and measure between one side of the microphone and the other side. You're going to need to cut two pieces, and make sure not to cover the EVF or the pop-up flash, because if you do, they'll never pop up again, so, you know, be careful. Put your Velcro down, see how much you need, do a little mini cut to see where you're at, and then pick it up and cut it the rest of the way. Now measure the space between the EVF and the pop-up flash, and cut one more time. Take the little tab off the bottom for both of them, and stick them right in place. Make sure not to get them over the microphone, or to get any of the adhesive gunk on there. Now make sure both the EVF and the pop-up flash come up. In this case, my thing was a little in the way there. Make sure you do this before it sets. It's just a lot easier to move around when it hasn't had a chance to latch onto anything. All right, and we're on to the other side. This time with a Sharpie, not a Shoopie. Just draw out your outline and then cut it out. Miss that power button and the shutter button. Oh, there's a cap. Now put that piece in front of the microphone. Cut the next piece of Velcro out of frame to show how good you are at YouTube and stick that one on. Make sure it's not in the way of the power button. And here's how all the Velcro looks in the end. I know the iPhone video didn't do much justice, but here's a picture of how all of it looks in the end. Now time for the anteater. A bit of an emo, he reminds me of Eeyore, so I'll help him out. So grab your favorite knife and get cutting for the second time, cause the first time you weren't recording. What a champ you are. Well, it'll be easier this time. Just get on in there, yeah. Get your Dexter skills going on, oh baby. And there we are, a nice hairball sized chunk of hair. With that nice depth of field right there. This ain't no iPhone clip. Now cut it to fit the size of your camera. Now take the other side of the Velcro and stick it to the fur patch. The hair is covering the LCD screen a bit. It's a bit tall, so we might have to cut it a little bit. Now it's time for a test. Let's see if all my hard work went to good use. This is a test with the windscreen on. And off.